What's up gamers? Bullets here. Today I want to bring up something that's probably not a huge issue, but it's a slight issue for me. So let's not beat around the bush and get straight to it. Resident Evil Remastered is giving no incentive to pre-order. Now before you get on my case about how pre-orders, the bonuses, they ruin gaming to begin with, and hear me out. Okay, you're taking a game that I love, that I would love to play again with 1080p on my Xbox One, and honestly I can't wait. Also the price tag is wonderful, it's great. 20 bucks. That says a lot. You know, good and well, most of these game developers and whatnot, they re-release a game, they polish it, and then they uh, resell it for full price, or at least 40 bucks or so. So $20 is a steal, right? Not if the game doesn't work. This is what I'm getting at. So you're taking a port from Nintendo GameCube, which was two generations ago, not doing anything with the game itself besides taking it apart piece by piece, as in the visuals, shining them up and putting them back in but the problem with the have that is, is there's no new coding going into this game other than what is needed to port it. So what if we rush to buy this and then it crashes every five seconds? How about the Silent Hill HD re-releases that had bugs to such extreme frame rate drops where the machine gun sounded like it was going to blow your speakers? I know they're raising this to a complete surround sound as well, so don't think I'm just hating to hate. I'm just saying these are the possibilities. I mean, hell, Silent Hill 2 and 3 we're just from one generation before the PlayStation 3, and we're taking almost a direct port from two generations ago to current and last gen. Resident Evil offers no incentives to pre-order. In fact, here on my Xbox One, it says pre-order now and you can play it on release day. Oh boy! Well, you mean to tell me I can play it on the very day that it's released if I pre-order? I should hope so. If not, I'm going to be kind of pissed, wouldn't you? Here's the thing. It won't be available till midnight Pacific time. So that means you guys on the East Coast won't get to play it till 3 a.m. So imagine this. You have been waiting all night to play this awesome game. Once again, a 1080p high definition or 720 on last gens. You got your buddies over. You got some sodas, beers, whatever. You're ready to fire up this amazing classic. And it crashes just as you're about to have the dogs jump into the window. Which is an epic scare moment for that game. You'd be pretty mad. I would be. What I'm saying is, don't advertise it as if it's such a great thing that we will get to play it on day one if we pre-order now. Add some incentive to that, such as maybe allow pre-orders to play it a day early. Uh, Call of Duty did that. It worked out pretty well. Or include the original port from PlayStation 1's Resident Evil Director's Cut. Maybe a couple of costumes. Damn, man. Anything that tells me I should pre-order this game so I can play it when it's released, even if it's only 20 bucks. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.